Hello my beautiful Capricorns, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Garetti and I am going to do your Capricorn reading for the new moon that is in Capricorn on December 21st. Um, yeah, so I'm going to pull a few oracle cards. Um, wow, bottom of the deck there, <laughs> six of swords. Definitely you guys are moving into calmer waters, that's for sure already picking up on uh, the energies here, but we're going to do some oracle cards first. We're going to start off with one of the Moonology decks. All right, Holy Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for my Capricorns? Messages and guidance for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know for this new moon in Capricorn? Happy birthday to my fellow Capricorns. My birthday is at the end of this month, December. The day before New Year's Eve. Pretty special. I typically celebrate on New Year's Eve, but I also celebrate on my birthday. There's just lots of celebrations this month. So, Mr. Pendulance, please, Holy Spirit. So new moons are all about manifesting. So what do you want to manifest Capricorn in this new moon? Um, what do you want to manifest? And Capricorn, I mean, you're the goat. You're the father of the zodiac, right? You're all about um, structure, responsibility. Um, so what do you want to manifest? to be in your work or career, um, could it have to do with possibly your ambitions, all right, messages and garments, please, 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 and final shuffle, okay, yep, here we go. to me says that you're probably using um, your mind, your logic a lot more um, than you are actually using your heart. So I'm seeing in this card a need to ground yourself, a need to connect to nature, and a need to uh, possibly meditate. So it's last quarter moon in Pisces. So definitely going deep within your feelings here. Um, this is really diving deep into figuring out what it is that you feel as opposed to what you're thinking about. And this also, because it says talk less, it could actually be um, in regards to you maybe in communication, maybe you automatically just react um, and respond uh, instead of actually feeling what you're feeling and talking from that place. I'm getting that. I'm also getting, you know, talk less, uh, feel more. I am getting, you know, possibly you're being overstimulated, overstimul right? Your mind is being overstimulated, maybe social media, um, you know, whatever it is but you're needing to actually ground yourself and go within and feel what you're feeling as opposed to being, you know, distracted um, by these other things. So that's what I got from that. All right, last quarter moon in Scorpio. This card keeps coming up um, and it says reveal what needs to be seen. So this definitely is bringing light to things, um, you know, possibly secrets, or I'm actually getting things that are in your subconscious mind. So this is also why it would be good for you to go into meditation, to really feel your feelings, um, especially in this time of year, right? Like December 21st, that's right before Christmas time. If you do celebrate Christmas, uh, if you don't, I mean, whatever. 
Um, but if you do, usually there's, you know, gatherings. Even if you don't, you know, there's usually, you know, uh, end of year celebrations, you know, Christmas parties uh, at work, things like that, get togethers with friends or family. So at some point, you're all probably um, getting into festivities with people and this can bring up a lot of feelings and so Scorpio is very much a sign of like you know investigating needing to know more right really diving into uh, information you know wanting to know more so with the first card here I'm getting that you need to go within your feelings, like feel what you're feeling in those moments. Just really observe, right? When you're out and about, when you're in gatherings, you're going to be triggered. Somebody's going to say something, but instead of just reacting, actually get into your feelings and feel what is going on within you. Um, connect to that and then you can speak on what it is that came up for for you so what i'm getting with the reveal what needs to be seen it's those feelings um that you have buried deep within you that needs to kind of you know come out right and right now um it's about feeling them right and then being able to articulate them and revealing those okay so there's definitely things in your subconscious. Maybe this is doing some shadow work as well during this time. There's definitely things in your subconscious that need to be taken a look at and revealed to you that maybe you're not seeing. And new moon in Aries, it says, go for it. Go for it. So for some of you here, um... I'm really seeing there's something to do with passion. Now, it could be work. It could be relationships. Um, it could be maybe a desire, like having to go on a vacation. You know, I'm seeing that some of you may be called to go to places like different ley lines and stuff. If you don't know about that, you know, Google it. Um, but definitely New Moon in Aries is saying, you know, just grab that Ace of Wands, you know, take that um, passion you know, grab the bull by the horns, I'm hearing, and just take that leap of faith and just go for it, whatever it is that you need, um, or, or that you're being called to, that desire, that passion, right? Is it a person? Is it a career? Is it, you know, travel? Whatever it is that's calling you, go for it. All right. I spent a lot of time on that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> So I've got another new deck that I'm super excited about, the Sacred Rebels Oracle deck. So let's see what this one has to say. All right, let's just invite it to please. For Capricorn, what does Capricorn need to know for this new moon in Capricorn on December 21st? I hope I have the date right. I hope it's not the 22nd. I'm pretty sure it's the 21st. All right. Let's just invite it to please. What does Capricorn need to know for the spirit? What does Capricorn need to know? Let's just invite him space. Let's just invite him Let's just invite Softly, softly, the tender touch. So, what I'm getting here is not about physical touch, okay? Um, this is about speaking, okay? So, words, uh, especially right now, I believe that Mars is in retrograde or it's going into retrograde. So, just really watching... Um, you know, your words, being gentle, you know, that gentle approach, whatever it is, right? This, what needs to be revealed, whoops, sorry, <laughs> what needs to be revealed, okay? Um, 
you know, being able to speak. That's why I said articulate, right? Being able to articulate what it is that you're feeling that your subconscious is bringing up, being able to, you know, um, deliver that message in a soft way and to be gentle with people. Okay. Um, the other thing I'm getting is some of you probably are, you know, struggling at this time emotionally. These feelings do need to come up and you do need to nurture yourself during this time, whatever this is. And also the other thing is possibly either you or someone you know really needing a hug. I'm getting like some of you just really need a hug, you know, so getting a hug from someone, giving a hug, hug to someone. Yes, release the dark wound. Let love live. Okay. So definitely, again, the fish, that's emotions, diving deep uh, into your emotions, right? With the water there, sorry. Um, this is, you know, really going within and meditating, contemplating, and really going into your subconscious mind deep within yourself to see what feelings, you know, are coming up for you, things that are from your past, what's in the subconscious mind, how do you feel about that, and then release that. Even though it's a new moon, you know, um, typically the full moons is about releasing, but we can do that ritual too during a new moon. So during this new moon season, you know, go and, you know, possibly do rituals of letting things go. Okay. Release what it is, um, you know, that is hurting you, that is causing you possibly pain, right? She's crying here. That's, I'm really focused on that. The tears, those wounds, what wounds do you have? you know, within you that are in your subconscious mind, allow yourself to feel them, allow them to come up, right? It's good for us to reveal or what it is that is underneath the surface there. Allow that to come up, but then release it, okay? And do it with love, right? Like I'm hearing let go. As soon as I pulled this card, I was hearing let go. Okay, next card free from judgment and free to love. So I'm really getting that a lot of this had to do with either relationship wounds or childhood wounds. I'm actually getting a lot of mother uh, wounds here. So what is it in Christmas time, you know, these holidays and stuff, even if you don't celebrate, like other people are celebrating around you. And for some reason, it does really bring up these childhood um, wounds that we had, you know, or possibly, you know, it end of the year too makes us reflect on our life. Like where have, where am I? Where am I going? Where have I been? What's this past year been like? You know, what losses have I had? What wins have I had? So, um, I'm really getting that there are definitely some deep wounds that need to be released. Um, and I'm also getting that whatever these wounds are, are especially the mother wound i'm getting that some of you had a very judgmental mother um and you need to let that go or you've had people really judging you throughout your life maybe in a relationship maybe in friendships maybe at work um whatever it is but release yourself from any judgments that are holding you back and allow yourself to be in those feelings of love. We all came from love. Love comes from the divine, right? So allow yourself, you know, to love without judgment, unconditional love. I'm getting, you know, that you're getting a great big hug from the divine right now. Some of you really need that. Okay. You're being supported here. I'm also getting heart, heart chakra, uh, you know, cleansing, possibly healing, heart chakra healing. You definitely need to heal these wounds. All right, that's what I have for you from that deck. Let's, I'm actually going to start the reading. All right, Holy Spirit. Messages and guidance, please, for my Capricorn. Messages and guidance for Capricorn during this new moon in Capricorn. Messages and guidance, please, for the new moon in Capricorn 
starting the Capricorn season. Happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there. Let's do some garnets, please. Let's do some garnets, please. And this could be also for Capricorn, not just Sun, but Moon, Rising, or Venus, or North Node, okay? Let's do some garnets, please, Holy Spirit. Let's do some garnets, please. What does Capricorn need to know for this Capricorn new moon? Definitely some of you feeling burdens, needing to drop uh, those burdens, drop those wands. Uh, I saw the ton of wands. Yeah, definitely, you know, with the two of pentacles here, having to juggle things. I'm also hearing balancing the light and dark energy, um, you know, the light and shadow side within ourselves. Um, but really needing to juggle things and... You also have the Ace of Cups here, the Divine coming in and bringing you this abundance, filling your cup, filling your heart with love. So many of these Oracle cards talked about being free to love, right? Living in love, let love live, right? Love comes from, you know, the Divine, from Source, God, the Universe, whatever, right? So allowing your heart to feel that love and know that Source is bringing you, um, you know, possibly either a new love connection. This is also my self-love card. This is you filling up your own cup, right? So possibly having to juggle, you know, some things here, juggle things around to be able to give yourself more love and nurturing, okay? And also underneath the deck, we have the Six of Wands. So this is a victory and success. Whatever it is that you're going through right now, know that you will be victorious. And look at her, you know, praising, uh, you know, the divine light coming in. Okay, so you, you're you definitely being showered with abundance here. I'm also hearing needing to really be in that uh, energy of gratitude and having that love from your heart you know, coming out and know that nine of cups is here. So this is wish, wish fulfillment, um, coming in for you. Okay. These are all your wishes being fulfilled and six of pentacles. Things are going to be balanced out. If you're worrying possibly about, you know, money here, um, if things, you know, have been a little bit more difficult lately, if you had to juggle things around, just know that things are going to work out where, you know, there is going to be this balance uh, in your life, this fairness, this equal give and take um, in regards to money and also in regards to relationships, okay? But, you know, whatever you put out into the universe, I'm hearing you get back. We, what you give is what you get, okay? So this is about giving and receiving. And bottom of the deck as well is many of you are needing to rest. Take this time to really go within, rest, recuperate, heal, recover from, you know, whatever difficulties that you've been going through. And I'm also uh, focused on the heart here. So definitely needing to heal your heart. And that takes time, right? And that's really you um, healing you know, taking that time to heal, going within, right? All right. And once you do that, <laughs> sorry guys, I just naturally saw this, but once you do that, you've got love coming in. It will be balanced and healing and it leads you to ultimate happiness, okay? All right, so... That's for some of you, not all of you. Um, all right, at the center of your reading, we have the Five of Swords. Some of you are getting headaches. Some of you are really worrying about something. 
some uh, of you might be in conflict right now. Sorry, I put that in the wrong spot. What we see is the Ace of Swords. So definitely you're going to be getting some clarity around this situation. Possibly the truth coming out at the bottom. What we don't see is King of Pentacles. So this is you, my Capricorns. Um, you are going to be stable, secure, right? Self-assured, just, you know, the boss, leader, just sitting here enjoying um, you know, the fruits of your labor, okay? In the recent past, yeah, we have the five of wands, definitely some drama, chaos, conflict, possibly competition. Um, you know, maybe this is in work, could be in family, friendships, whatever this was, it's, you know, kind of, I'm getting you keep thinking about this. Um, you know, it's causing you headaches, like this is really you know, kind of bothering you, but you are going to get uh, clarity. The other thing I'm hearing with this right now is that many of you need to really pay attention to your thoughts. You're listening to the negative. You know how, you know, the devil and the angel, right? You are listening to your ego. You're listening to the negative side. And um, the message here is to really get clear on your thoughts, right? Because your thoughts do manifest. What is it that you want to manifest, right? If you keep thinking these negative thoughts, that's not what, you know, you're going to manifest negative, right? You're going to manifest, you know, conflict, chaos. You want to manifest with clear thoughts, positive thoughts, okay? To have this, this abundance, right? With the Ace of Swords. All right. So, Ten of Swords is your advice card here, and Wheel of Fortune is your outcome. So, your outcome is your luck is changing, the wheel is turning in your favor, 2222 on the clock when I looked up just now. So, and it's funny, I actually um, started the reading at 1111, my time here, not that you guys could see that, but definitely, you know, a lot of fate and destiny in the universe uh, assisting you here. And the Wheel of Fortune is karma. This is all about what goes up must come down. So that's that giving and receiving what you put out into the universe, you get back. So know that the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor here. So you don't need to worry. The Ten of Swords as your advice card is, you know, whatever this betrayal was, you know, these hardships, the pain, the agony, you know, normally you see the swords uh, stabbed in the back, but if you notice, it's like each of those birds are, you know, each of those swords, right, that are flying away. And look at her, she's standing there and she's walking forward, she's moving ahead and she's, she's healing. Okay, so I'm hearing that you guys need to focus on your healing, need to focus on looking forward, moving forward from whatever this was and know that, um... I'm, even though this isn't the Nine of Swords, I'm hearing like, stop worrying, stop overthinking, stop, you know, lots of sword energy here. Lots of in your head. Right? And also, um, as advice, you know, just knowing that the Ten becomes a One. Right? The Ten of Swords turns into the One, which is what we see here. And know that this, you know, difficult cycle is coming to an end. Let's get some clarifying cards that are Holy Spirit for Ten of Swords. Why is this the advice? Ten of Swords is the advice, please. Ten of Swords is the advice. Yeah. Ten of Swords is the advice. Okay. Wow. King and Queen of Swords here. With the Star card and the Page of Swords. This is really watch your thoughts. Okay. Cut out what no longer serves you. Okay. Be very 
decisive. The Queen of Swords has been through a lot um, and she knows her value and worth and she cuts out what does not serve her anymore. I'm hearing this King of Swords uh, here was actually, this is like the negative uh, aspects of the King of Swords that you had to deal with. This person was very harsh and cutting uh, or this situation was very harsh and cutting. Um, you know, I'm getting that this person was not wise at all. They are very hurtful to you. They hurt you very badly. Um, and, you know, this person possibly could be spying on you, but because this is your uh, advice, it's saying that knowledge is power, right? Whatever the situation is, you know, look into, um, you know, possibly having to learn about it in order to be able to move forward and also watch your thoughts because whatever you're putting into your mind is manifesting and creating. Okay, so watch your thoughts. What are you wishing for, right? This is what you need to be focused on not this king of swords that stabbed you in the back right you need to be focused look at her being really um a focused on the star card wish fulfillment also this is about healing and needing to heal whatever this was this ten of swords okay but definitely focus on your dreams focus on you know, what you're dreaming about, what you're wishing for, what do you desire? And at the bottom here, Seven of Swords, this person was very cunning, very sneaky. Um, you know, liar, cheater, thief, right? I'm also hearing for some of you, this is the sabotage self-sabotage don't sabotage your ace of pentacles okay um and for others of you that what i'm getting at the bottom here for others of you it's this person the seven of swords this thief right try to take your ace of pentacles but know that this is yours they cannot take what the divine um has deemed is yours okay they try to run away quickly this put you possibly in a stuck position but again eight of swords it's all in your head it's all in your head right and spirit is asking you eight of pentacles work hard um mastering you know whatever this this is for you this ten of cups this happily ever after right work on your ten of cups that's what you need to be focused on not the past okay not this kind of energy all right so we need to get out of that um self-imprisonment energy okay yeah walk away walk away from that and go towards your nine of cups that's what's coming in for you anyway nine of cups is here with the Nine of Cups is here, as we saw underneath the deck. Nine of Cups is here with the Six of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, okay? That's balance, right? Coming in victory, wish fulfillment, right? All right, Holy Spirit. Um... Wheel of Fortune. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune, please, Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Whoop. first card that came out was the two of swords you're definitely not seeing you know this right now um this could be in your near future it hasn't happened yet but in the outcome position is the wheel of fortune so you are not uh seeing like that eight of swords you're feeling really stuck and you're not seeing that things are going to turn but they are going to turn the wheel of fortune is here and because of that you are holding on for dear life to whatever it is 
that you're holding on to, okay? Um, but it's because you're not having faith and trust in the universe, but the universe is coming in here, right, to change the luck for you. Your luck is changing. The wheel of fortune is turning for you. Karma is coming in for you for whatever it was that you went through. And, you know, this is you dreaming, daydreaming, focusing on your dreams with the Page of Cups here. This is really kind of like a new, fun, light, um, very playful, childlike energy, okay? Um, and it's saying, you know, with the Eight of Wands here, to move towards your dreams, right? You will be moving quickly towards these things that you have been, you know, dreaming about, Um and it's bringing you the nine of pentacles. So this is, you know, success. This is abundance. This is my, um, you know, confident, self-assured, independent woman or man. And you have lots of wisdom. So you're getting a lot of different kinds of abundance coming in for you and you are going to be enjoying the fruits of your labor the things that you have worked so hard for so you don't need to be doing this you don't need to worry anymore and if this is a conflict situation just know that things are going to turn and work out in your favor all right yes could be with the union two of cups here and again we have the six of swords i just cut the deck this is you are going to be moving out of these difficult, turbulent, you know, waters situation. And you're going to move into the direction that is calmer um, and, you know, more abundant. Yeah. Why? You planted your seeds, sent them pe pentacles, and you might have to wait for them to grow. And you aren't seeing it right now. You don't see it. But it's happening. You don't see it. It's underneath the surface, okay? You're coming out of the difficulties, okay? You're coming out of those troubled waters, all right? Have the strength. Have the strength. You have the strength within you, okay? Um, to be able to get through this and know that on the other side, it's your happiness, the sun card, okay? The sun card is here for you. This is ultimate happiness, but get out of this five of pentacles. That is the lack mentality. That is, you know, what you need to get out of. You need to make a choice with the lover's card here to balance out, you know, this light and dark. You're too much in your shadow side here with the devil underneath the deck. And actually, I'm also getting that you need to step into your power, Capricorn. You are, you know, in the zodiac or in in the tarot you're represented as the devil but this is about power and success okay seven of wands you are going to rise above and overcome all of these obstacles so emperor card here this is you know some of you might have aries in your chart but this is you taking your power back look at how confident he is you're a leader right you're the boss you're the goat you're the father of the zodiac right so get into that power. Really, you know, I'm hearing um, you need to really uh, increase the confidence that you have in yourself and have faith and trust in the universe, God, higher power, source, whatever it is for you, okay? I am going to pull another uh, card for you, and I'm probably going to read from the book. We'll see. Possibly. I'm not sure yet. But this is the Angels, Gods, and Goddesses deck. So messages and guidance, please, Holy Spirit. I just want one card. One card, please, Holy Spirit. Messages and guidance. What does Capricorn need to know? Messages and guidance, please, Holy Spirit. Angels, Gods, and Goddesses. What does Capricorn need to know? to know to close out this reading. This doesn't go this place. What does Capricorn need to know? Alright. Goddess of Psychic Protection. 
Goddess of Psychic Protection. I'm actually just going to read the bottom of the card. What you believe you create, no one can harm you. Absolutely. That is exactly this reading. Okay. Goddess of Psychic Protection. So, psychic, right? So this is your third eye here. Um, and very much, you know, the reading I saw you being really in your head, lots of swords energy. Okay. And as I said, whatever you're focused on is what you're going to create. So what do you want to create, right? Abundance. You don't want to create this, this conflict, this chaos, right? The devil energy. You don't want to create that lack mentality, right? So how beautiful, the goddess of psychic protection, what you believe you create, no one can harm you. I know that's hard for us to hear, but those of you, you know, if you don't know about manifesting, um, you know, definitely, you know, start looking into it, but our thoughts create, what reality do you want to create? Okay. goddess of the earth, an idea connected to imagination, creativity, and nature is coming your way. Absolutely. And I got to cover this. Sorry, guys. These cards are really beautiful, but you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> so as I said before, you need to ground yourself. Um, and, you know, your imagination, your, you know, the ideas that you're having, that is what is creating your art reality, right? What are you imagining? What are you creating here? And angel of communication, communicate clearly. Don't be afraid to tell it like it is. So some of you might be dealing with a situation uh, here that involves um, definitely having to have a conversation with someone. Maybe this is what's really like tormenting you and... Uh, that you need to discuss uh, something with someone, but you do um, have divine protection here and guidance. The angel of communication is telling you that you can communicate clearly. For some of you actually needing to do some work on your throat chakra possibly, I'm getting that it might be blocked, but it's actually coming from your heart chakra, so you might need to unblock your heart chakra first to be able to do that, but this is such a beautiful card here. Beautiful. All right, my loves, that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for being here with me today. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Um, also, if you hit the like button or post, uh, put a comment in the comments below, um, subscribe to my channel, share this video. It also helps my channel to grow. Um, which I am trying to do. So I would love to have you here if you're not subscribed already and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of new videos as I post them, which I'm starting to do a lot more frequently. So definitely you want to go ahead and do that. I wish you all a beautiful winter solstice. I totally forgot about that. Happy birthday to all you Capricorns. Um, happy winter solstice. It's also the longest day uh, or daylight, uh, day of the year. So enjoy that. Um, yeah. And Merry Christmas to those of you that do celebrate. Um, and as always, I wish you all peace, love, and light until next time. Bye-bye.